Hello, this is my first tutorial on my YouTube channel Theronix and today I'm going to make a requested tutorial on making an 8-bit Mario or any other 8-bit characters. As you see, this is going to be the result. Some awesome 3D 8-bit Mario and with some lightning effects and a floor. I'll just be showing you how to make this Mario or any other 8-bit character. So we're gonna start off in Photoshop and uh, choosing the eight, I mean the magic wand tool, we will be making paths on every color of the character. So we will be starting by choosing the red color, holding down shift and clicking one color and then another color while holding down shift, getting all the colors um, marked. You will then go to paths and then create path to the left of the layer button. Then you have the path right there. Go to File, Show All Menu Items, Export, and then Paths to Illustrator. Then you will export the file to your wherever you want. And when you have done that with all the colors, different colors, exporting them, save like after you are done with that one, you'll take all the orange color, and then again click this one and files, export to, etc. When you got all your files in your the folder you want them, you want to open your folder and have Cinema 4D right there. Take all your paths, which I already already made, ready. Drag them, drag them into Cinema 4D. Um, no, 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 no. Yeah. Clicking OK, all times. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. This is the first path. Path 3. I'll copy this by clicking the path Control C, going to Window, finding Path 2, copying them in there, taking both of those paths again, copying them into Path 1. So now we've got all the paths in one, one project. Now we have to make one extruder for every single path inside each path. So basically, there's made one path for every part of the 8 bit character. Uh, I believe I have 13 paths right here now, so I'll start off just making one extrude nerf. Clicking that one, control C, and then making it 12 more times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now we got to take every part into each of its extrude nerf. So we'll start with put 1, pad 2, that's the red color, if I remember color correctly, and then uh, just keep on doing like this and adding some nice uh, Mario tunes would be nice but like I can't beatbox or anything so I don't even want to try <laughs> so you just gotta watch this uh, dragging into uh, extra nerves, pets, moving shit stuff so I'm soon done with this and after we have done this we will be adding color obviously and uh, making them all giving them some nice three effect look as you already see there they are great and looking better you can delete these three on the bottom there we go, pad one, pad through and just close them all like this so they won't want to take so much space that's your decision though uh, this is the red color so we need to make a red material double clicking on the material space here choosing red it's gonna be the color for the pants and I mean not, yeah, he's tingy tingy that's the red color thing there and now the next one I can't remember was, was it brown, was it brown? his nipples his nipples are golden so we're gonna make a new material which is more like a what color are they? Like golden brownish color like this and put him on his nipples one on each nipple and on his arms I believe I don't know anymore and his face he needs color on his face maybe he should be browner he shouldn't be so white like me I'm pretty white it's not good we'll make one for the last one it's like a greenish um, like a greenish color dark greenish I believe yeah we'll put that on the last ones and you can obviously after you put them on you can still change the color easily if it looks bad because it probably will look really shitty for me and let's see no, it looks like Mario. There's the 8-bit Mario, but you see it's pretty thin, isn't he? 
I believe Mario's fat. And I think you believe that too. So holding clicking the first one and holding shift and then getting all checked. You go to object and then movement here and going on the last one here and make him fatter. Sixty meters fatness. It's pretty boring, dull. You see the three D is right here. You can do it over all eight bit characters. Now simply adding some light um on his side right there and copying this one and dragging that a bit from on the front. Let's see, now we will be having an 8 bit Mario. That's it. Thanks for this tutorial. That was an 8 bit Mario creation. You can do this with all 8 bit characters you find on the internet. Just Google it. Thank you for watching. If you want to see intros, uh, me making intros, making shit for you, making tutorials, etc., subscribe. Thank you for watching.